I work as a senior risk specialist uh, in IBM Risk Analytics. I work with uh, various financial services firms like investment banks, broker dealers, uh, buy side firms to help them uh, solve their risk management challenges. I'm from India. I graduated from the Indian Institute of Technology in Mumbai. I got my bachelor's in engineering from there. Then I came for my master's. I got my master's in engineering from the Carnegie Mellon University. So I had a fairly strong engineering background that gave me the anal analytical mindset to solve problems. But the one thing that I was lacking is I could apply those principles to an engineering problem, but I needed the you know, exposure to the risk framework, risk management principles, to apply it to uh, the risk management uh, uh, industry. And that's what exactly FRM did. You know, uh, I, it was easy for me. The quantitative aspects of the exam, of the syllabus, was easy. I was able to pick that up. But what is interesting is how those are applied effectively when you are, you know, let's say, for example, calculating various risk measures, when you're doing some statistical analysis on uh, how the risk measures are valid or how they can be improved. Prior to taking the FRM exam, I spent 10 years working in various banks in New York, uh, global investment banks. I was primarily working in derivatives and risk management, uh, working with risk managers to understand their day-to-day -day processes, uh, the way they look at various risk measures, how do they apply it, when they do reporting to their senior management. I met a few colleagues who had taken FRM, and they seemed to have a very good uh, understanding of the underlying concepts, the principles. And when I spoke to them, uh, they recommended that this might be useful for a career in risk management. So that's what made me take the FRM exam. And there were two main benefits, I would say, that I got out of the FRM certification. One was I got a very thorough grounding on the you know, principles for risk management and the underlying principles on how to manage those exposures, how to set limits. Uh, along with that, the, there is a strong need to have a quant quantitative rigor when you're applying these principles, and which I think was a very core piece of the FRM exam. The way the uh, questions are there are framed in the exam, it tests your ability to apply the quantitative principles uh, when you're uh, applying it to the risk principles. Uh, risk managers obviously would benefit for, from the certification. Let's say you, know, you have a large team implementing, uh, creating a system for market risk. The people who do the business analysis need to understand the underlying risk management principles, they need to interact with the risk managers, they could benefit you know, very, uh, quite a bit uh, from the FRM certification. As also people in the consulting business, you know, the, uh, those who provide solutions to the various banks, uh, they interact with risk managers, they interact with the traders, they need to understand the business language, the risk management principles, they could benefit uh, tremendously. You know, the FRM exam, I personally feel uh, benefited me in two main ways. One is I got a very good exposure to the overall risk management framework, primarily coming out of the many years of experience from the various investment banks and also the studies done by the Basel committees. Uh, prior to the FRM exam, I was, though I was working in banks, working with risk managers, I lacked the holistic perspective. After the exam, when I got exposed to the core principles of market risk, credit risk, counterparty credit risk, operational risk, and when I have that broad framework in mind, my conversations with the risk managers are a lot more balanced, uh, a lot more accurate. The second piece was uh, having been exposed to the framework, uh, there is a qualitative aspect, knowing the principles, but there is also a quantitative aspect where can I bring a quantitative rigor to application of those principles. And FRM is very strong on that. You know, there is a separate section on quantitative analysis where you learn the basics of quantitative analysis and are able to apply that in your day-to-day -day activities in a bank. A few years back, I, chose, I, I took a conscious decision that I want to make a career in risk management. I'll probably, I will probably work in risk management for the rest of my life because there's so much work, you know, especially after the financial crisis of 2007, 2008, risk management has become a lot more important at the banks. Uh, some of the banks have been, they are, 
the projects for risk management, management are well funded. Uh, there are tight uh, timelines because the regulators have given uh, mandatory deadlines. And more and more banks need to comply with the newer regulations coming out of Basel 2.5, Basel 3, the Dodd-Frank Act. All of that requires more and more people who understand the core principles, who understand how to apply that in, in, in the day-to-day -day activities of a bank.